Warning, this video contains Warlords of Draenor spoilers. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heal vs Babyface, and as the warning says at the beginning, this video is going to contain a few Warlords of Draenor spoilers. If they are things that you don't want to know about the expansion yet, this is not the video for you to watch. I will be continuing the video from the perspective that you are either okay with knowing what the spoilers are, or you do already know what some of the spoilers are that appear here. Alright, I cannot give you more forewarning than that. So, I got a very exciting quest line today in my garrison, and it took me to somewhere in Shadowmoon Valley where the Exarchs are currently residing to meet up with Yirul. Now, if you know about the storyline of Warlords of Draenor, Yirul is kind of the leader of the Draenei now. <laughs> um, as we had the Prophet Velen sacrifice himself very early on in the leveling up process. You'll only be about level 91, 92 when he does. He actually sacrifices himself and he spreads all the light which he has within his body, you know, I don't know how you want to metaphysically put this, um, but he then dispenses it to all the Draenei that are fighting at the Temple of Karabor and he, and he pretty much blesses them all and suddenly the Draenei that were getting overrun by the Iron Horde are just supercharged with the light and suddenly they're all boosted up and they all get light armor and it's it's amazing little cutscene to see when it happens um so Velen <coughs> gets axed very early on in the proceedings of Warlords of Draenor we then had uh Marad take over from um Velen and he kind of met the same fate. <laughs> he was killed at the hands of Blackhand while there was an attack on Shatrath City. We were trying to um, reclaim, get back Shatrath, and it, it evolved as uh, having to come into contact with Blackhand, and it cost uh, Marad his life. Um, Great storytelling, I have to say. I, I, If you follow my channel, you know that I am a sucker for one thing, and I am a sucker for good storytelling, and, and Warlords of Draenor has it in spades. There are some phenomenal storylines told throughout this, and I was getting a little bit panicky about what would happen when you came to end game content, because so far... It hasn't been particularly great. It's been very grindy, very boring, and a bit dull, to say the least. So suddenly, when I get a level 100 story-based quest line that literally picks up from some of the major aspects that have happened during the leveling procedure, I was giddy as a schoolgirl. And Yirul is now last woman standing, in effect. She is... Exarch in name, you know, in almost anything but name. And she is now seeing whether or not she is worthy to become the leader of the Draenei here on Draenor. So she's had to go through some of the trials. Now, we've just defeated her previous sensei, whatever you want to call it, master, sensei, whatever, either, either, or. And uh, we then fight our way through some of the um, ancestral prelates. Ooh. I do like the sound of that. Although the level 100 elites, and I think my item level is around about uh, 650 ish, maybe maybe a little bit less, but around about 650, I am crushing these. Um, but do bear in mind, when I'll likely be doing this quest line, my item level will be somewhere in the region of, I don't know, I'm going to say about 620. Probably around 620 on a good day. Uh, 615 to 620. So this might prove to be a lot tougher when I get to do this on the live servers. But we, we dispense with the trash. Um, the teleporter platform is now open. And I've got to say, this filled me with joy. Uh, having been a, a great lover of the leveling up process and the storyline, we put the ashes of Marad to, to rest here. That is the whole point of this Trial of Faith. This is Yerol's Trials. We've got three trials to conduct. Trial of Faith, Trial of Heart, and Trial of Courage. This one's the Faith one. And then suddenly, when we place the Ashes of Murad, he appears. I mean, he's, he's obviously dead, but this is his, his, his ghost, his essence, his light. 
uh, if, if you'd be so bold as to say so. And then we get into a battle with him. Now, not only has the storytelling been excellent, as I've previously mentioned, but one thing that's really enhanced it is the addition of voice acting. And you'll notice that on certain elements now, we do have legitimate voice acting, not just when you pick up a quest saying, oh, hello there. We do have true-ass interaction, as we've got going on here. Marad actually, um, I wouldn't say uh, taunting Yiril, but obviously he's trying to get under her skin. He's trying to see what metal she's made out of. And then you have this unbelievable... Uh, actual physical uh, back and forth between the two characters, and I just thought, oh my god, this this is a this is just amazing. So I was fighting Murad, the spirit of Murad, and instead of just like dotting up and walking around the da da da, I <laughs> I actually kind of lost myself a couple of times. wasn't really paying too much attention um, to like my soul shards or anything like that because I was I was legitimately absorbed by what was going on. And then when we got this hammer aspect here, which is like, I'm never alone. And it's like, use the hammer. And then you pick up the hammer and you throw it at Murad. And it just like, it breaks his grip on Euro. Oh, I was just like, I'm I'm sold. I'm absolutely sold. Uh, the, the problem is I don't know how often we're going to get this level of storyline. Uh, going to go through Warlords of Draenor. I mean, if this was something like a weekly thing. Oh my god, I would be... I'd be so happy. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's going to be a weekly thing. I don't know if it's just going to be once in a blue moon. But, oh my goodness, an amazing experience. It didn't look... I mean, it didn't physically look... If you watch this on mute, you might think it's not too much. But the, the physical experience of the two interacting, uh, of, of you helping Yiril become an exarch, uh, I was sold absolutely 100% sold. So this is one of those occasions where I've got to say, Blizz, hands up. Hands up. What an incredible job. Can't wait to do the other two trials. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'll bring it to you. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and also twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming. And I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.